Hi guys, part 3 of this uh, very long video. Oh wow, oh my god, I did not think it was gonna be a 3 part video. What? Damn. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Katlero. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to another video. Part 3. If you have not watched part one and two please go back and watch part one and two because systems okay this is systematic first we learned what is an environmental scientist and how do we become one in south africa number two we talked about whether you should be working in industry or academia as an environmental scientist now we're talking about the pros and cons of environmental scientists the pros and cons of working as an environmental scientist. Basically the pros and cons of this career path that I have so much chosen. Let's get into it. Pros. Should I start with pros or should I start with cons? I don't know. Mm, let's see. I have four four. So for every pro, I will give a con. Okay, cool. The first pro, diversity of ecosystems. So South Africa is, has a unique and diverse range of ecosystems. We know this, South Africa, the environment in South Africa, pristine. Like when we went to a full trip a week ago, now it's two weeks ago, um, we drove from Pretoria to the Eastern Cape, Utenhe <laughs> A ten hache, you said Hagen. So we drive. Obviously, it's Gauteng, then it's Free State, then it's Northern Cape, then it's the free, the Eastern Cape. The landscape changes. The fact that you can see how the landscape changes, province by province, biome by biome. Anyway. Um, so South Africa has a unique and diverse range of ecosystems including grasslands, forests, wetlands and coastal areas. This diversity provides environmental scientists with a wide range of opportunities to study and work in different ecosystems, each with its own set of challenges and opportunities. So as an environmental scientist, you get to choose, are you going to be a terrestrial, marine, bird? There's so much to choose from because we have access to everything environmental. Yeah, so diversity of ecosystems. Now, con, okay? We're doing a con now. Political instability. That is the first one. So South Africa has a history of political instability, which can make it dif difficult for environmental scientists to do their job effectively. Political instability can lead to a lack of funding, regulatory confusion, and delays in decision making. That is one of the things that frustrates me about our government, that as much as we have all these amazing scientists who do the research like who come up with solutions and advise the government on how to make certain decisions what can we apply how can we solve this issue because politics and our government the way it's set up things don't always go the way that scientists would like for them to go and another frustrating thing is that politicians don't really listen to scientists so that's a con if you're gonna become a scientist you need to you're gonna have to have the ability to rein it in because most of the time the thing that makes our jobs difficult are the decision makers okay cool another pro okay Abundant natural resources. I think this one ties with the first one that says diversity of ecosystems um, South Africa is rich in natural resources such as minerals water fertile land This provides ample opportunity for environmental scientists to work in areas of natural resource management and conservation so you're not doing for example a project on the conservation of What can I use on as, as an example? 
you're not doing a project on the conservation of rhino whereas you are in a country that does not have rhino you know what i'm saying so we have access to abundant natural resources meaning whatever you're working on you have access to it if you want to look at how this mineral affects the landscape and what vegetation works here you go to that place that has the mineral and you can do your experiments amazing now for a con socio-economic challenges kind of ties with political instability because it influences socio-economics but let's hear what it says south africa is a country with significant socio-economic challenges such as poverty and inequality these challenges can make it difficult for environmental scientists to achieve their goals as they may face resistance or lack of support from local communities i think one of the biggest things i've learned in my internship is how much social science plays a role in conservation like we have these conversations in our team and my mind is always like oh my god how did i not know or realize this before but then again that's the beauty of an internship because you get to be exposed to certain things and learn about them i was like you cannot remove social sciences from conservation because again i work in conservation so certain decisions if we want to conserve a certain plant species we cannot just as scientists be like you know what this plant is endangered nobody must touch this plant anymore we are closing it off we are banning this like you know we can't just put bans on everything um we have to consider what is this plant used for who are the people who are using this plant as a resource? What can we do to minimize the effects of people using this resource? And the concept of sustainable use is so ingrained in my head because when I first entered my internship, it was that sustainable use wildlife trade and sustainable use a video is coming soon i'm definitely going to talk about it you guys need to know i've learned so much oh my gosh let's not get derailed so like sustainable use to say we can't just make rules to say we cannot use natural resources we have to use natural resources we depend on natural resources but it's how we use them and to come up with solutions that benefit everyone social sciences needs to be taken to account we have to talk to local communities we have to talk to stakeholders the people who use the resource the people who are closest to the resource i'm preaching now but anyway let's move forward another pro growing demand for environmental expertise so as the world becomes more aware of the importance of environmental issues the demand for environmental scientists is growing this means that there are many opportunities for environmental scientists to work in south africa like guys you can see environmental issues are everywhere and one thing about the environment we need it we cannot survive our whole lives depend on the environment so there will never be a time where environmental scientists are not needed a con limited funding Oof. whether you're working in industry or you're working in academia funding is always an issue funding for environmental science in south africa can be limited which can make it difficult for scientists to conduct research or implement projects so certain things we are not able to do because money like we just don't have money to do them you can have an amazing idea but if there is no money to execute that idea it remains just that an idea number four k okay. opportunities for innovation south africa is a developing country which means that there is room for innovation in the field of environmental science this can lead to new and, ex and exciting ways of addressing environmental challenges so we can see how like social media has come up about it's the big thing now so you can as an environmental scientist you look into how can we use social media to benefit environmental sciences number one using um, social media as a tool for education like i'm doing that's one of the things i've thought about the past couple of months i was like it's interesting how so many people don't know about the environmental issues that are currently happening in south africa 
yet we have all these platforms where we can put the information out there for especially young people who are coming up so they know so there's so much room for innovation there's so much room for technology to advance to help us in in doing certain things in the environmental sciences sector the final point which is gonna be a con is a lack of infrastructure so south africa has a limited infrastructure has limited infrastructure in certain areas which can make it difficult for environmental scientists to access remote locations or conduct research in the fields imagine this you are trying to get to a certain um ecosystem it's located in the middle of nowhere in some village very far away that you cannot even locate on google earth or go not google earth on google maps google maps cannot direct you to the place when you're driving there so because we don't have those infrastructures also there's no roads to get there it's gravel everywhere you can get lost there are no street lights so certain things hinder like environmental research um something we need to work on as a country it's very hard to locate like certain locations and you find that research in those locations is very very important so in conclusion becoming an environmental scientist in south africa has both pros and cons we've seen this and while the country offers a unique diverse range of ecosystems abundant natural resources and a growing demand for environmental expertise it also has political instability socio-economic challenges limited funding and lack of infrastructure which can make it difficult for somebody in this career field but if you are passionate about environmental sciences and willing to overcome these challenges, it can be a very rewarding career path to follow. And it can be very fulfilling. Like I mentioned in the previous video, getting to see um, the difference that your work makes, <sighs> nothing can compare. I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> series of videos. Um, again, if you haven't watched the previous two videos, please go and check them out give them a like i think in one of them i said it was the previous one i said would you prefer academia research or working in industry as an environmental scientist so please let me know down below if you have any specific questions or any topics related to environmental sciences working in environmental sciences that you would like for me to address i would gladly happily make a video about that i will see you guys in another video bye